Today we are going to make an illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Photoshop and Illustrator platforms are entirely different. Illustrator output will be in vector format and Photoshop output will be in raster format. I already explained what is raster and what is vector in my previous videos. So if you have any doubt, do check out those videos. So no further delay. Let's jump into drawing. This is Illustrator platform. I'm going to create a new document. For that, you can use Ctrl or Command N or you go to File, New. This is my default settings, uh, 1200 pixel into 628 pixel, and I'm naming it as Baby. Sorry, baby. Okay, this is my canvas. Next thing, we need to setting up the brush. For that, I am going to window brushes that I already opened here. You can create a new brush by pressing this small icon. And I am selecting calligraphic brush. Press OK. Then I am switching this size to four point. I'm using the pressure sensitive tablet so I'm selecting pressure and variation will be 4 and press OK I will, uh, I will show you what is the output so I can draw four types of variation using this brush that we already set it up the variations to 4 so this is pretty fine then if you want smoothness i i will show you i'm drawing like this but this is not affected any smoothness so if you want the smoothness double click your brush and you can adjust the smoothness here i'm in full smoothness if you are drawing like this it will smooth according to the brush smoothness so i don't want the dot that, that much smoothness so i'm reducing the smoothness leading bit okay this is pretty fine then we need to place our reference image for that i am going to file and place you can assign keyboard shortcut here i already assigned a keyboard shortcut control p here for placing the document because i i don't want to use any print option directly from the software so i'm i assigned control p for place so i'm using that for control p and i'm placing placing the document where, where it is actually this is my document this i got from my previous context baby context so i'm reducing the size you can use shift or hold and you can redo resize this image yeah this is pretty fine i think so i need to lock this layer i am reducing the opacity by 70 percentage this is pretty fine i am locking this layer and creating a new layer here we are trying to draw our image i am increasing the canvas size I'm starting from lips okay mainly I will start from lips only so I can start drawing from here I don't want this much uh, stroke size if you want if you need to reduce the stroke size you can uh, reduce the stroke size also so this is pretty fine and starting drawing yeah so try to close each and every uh, shapes separately because we are filling those shapes uh, after
we already finished the line drawing next thing we need to check whether all shapes are closed or not because we are filling these shapes separately if some shapes are open then that will be leaked out the color so i'm going to check each and every sessions from here i am starting i'm checking the se sessions whether all the sessions are closed or not i think all sessions are closed it's open then that will be we can fix later next we need to create a palette color palette i'm going to hide our drawing then i'm activating our our reference image i'm increasing the opacity increasing the opacity 100 percentage i can move this this in little bit side i need two variations from each sessions so i'm creating a rectangle here and copying that rectangle by pressing alt pressing alt and duplicating this rectangles several time okay so i duplicated the rectangles i'm selecting the first one i'm selecting the first one and activating this fill and copying sampling the colors from this image for that i'm selecting the eye picker tool then i can select a light color from here this will be the light color okay this will be the light color and i need one more dark color also so i'm once again i'm selecting that i pick a tool this may be the dark color then i need the dress color selecting the third rectangle then i can select uh, this color as my my dress color then i need one more color for a darker tone i'm selecting the fourth rectangle and, and this may be the dark color this may be the dark color then i need a golden color i'm selecting the fifth rectangle size i'm switching i i pick a tool and selecting this color this color may be the gold color and one more color i want the gold that the orange color so i'm i'm duplicating this rectangle one more time and i'm selecting i'm selecting that orange color from where i can select from here yeah this may be fine okay this may be fine okay we already created the palette and i am hiding this i am hiding this uh, reference reference and activating the drawing then we need to fill a basic color that will be the uh, body color that is the largest part here so i am um, adding that as the base color i am reducing little bit color here i don't want this much color so i am reduced that one and this one also i can reduce little bit you can double click this fill layer you can reduce the darkness uh, this may be fine okay so i already reduced that color then i am filling this color in, in the entire body for that for that i am going to duplicate this our original 
drawing layer that are already duplicated and i am hiding the i am locking the top layer in second layer i am creating a rectangle around this image yeah around this image with that body color i painted there this not is the exact color i think so i can increase that little bit yellowish color also that will be it was some more yellowish color this will be the fine color okay so i can add this color i can add this color so oh, i already added this color then i need to arrange this uh, this rectangle uh, uh, send it to the back for the, for for that i am right clicking and arrange send it to back i already sent that to back you can see here then we need to select the entire thing for that i am pressing control or command a for selecting the entire thing then you need to go to object expand appearance okay so that is expanded the appearance then we need to go to pathfinder you can find the pathfinder in window uh, where it is pathfinder that i already opened here and i am merging that layers that will take some time yeah that already merged then in this group you need to right click and isolate selected groups that will be then we need to select each and every sessions or shapes separately okay i am selecting this shape and deleting so we got the uh, we deleted the uh, extra parts then i need to change each and every sessions this sessions i don't want so i am deleting that and in hair part also we can delete we can delete this part that i already deleted then increase the canvas size and select this part and deleting select this part delete or you can lock this entire drawing lock this entire drawing by um, control or command 2 you can lock the uh, drawing then we can select this layers easily shapes easily and delete these shapes also the unwanted part part we are going to delete this sessions i am sorry sorry i don't want this layer okay that is pretty fine yeah i am blocking i am blocking this uh, session also and i am selecting this shape and selecting this shape i already drawn some the uh, pencil i used some pencil here that's why it's a color is like that you can use the brush for that purpose it will be fine okay so here also you can delete here also we can delete the shape okay we already deleted the extra part so we are going to color each and every sessions from this palette for that i am going to the i area i area must be white then i am selecting this area and this area and filling filling that with white color yeah pale white i can use okay and then one more thing one this shape this shape also i am i can select and i can copy this color and then that lip color lip color i can we already added the color in the drawing so next thing we need to highlight some darker areas also so for that i am i selected some dark colors 
I am going to brush and I am selecting this color. I am going to apply the darker sessions like that. So this will be the darker color. I am I am creating one more layer for that for shadings. So I am drawing some darker lines. After highlights, that image will look like this. So we already finished our drawing. In following tutorials, some more series of drawings are coming. So keep watching. If you like this video, just subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. See you in the next video. Bye bye.